Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at Thor's top of the line, most impressive Class A gas motorhome. This motorhome's also a perfect floor plan for full-time living in. This is the 2024 Thor Challenger model 35MQ. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Challenger and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video again today. I am super excited to be showing you Thor's top of the line, most impressive Class A gas motorhome. I'm really excited. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Andrea. Hey Andrea! Hi everybody! How's it going? It's going good, it's a beautiful day. Anytime it's nice like this, I love to do RV reviews. And the fact that this is a top of the line luxury motorhome, oh. I can't wait to see it. You know, a lot of people give Thor a hard time. Watch this Challenger and you will see, it's not per se about the manufacturer, it's about the brand. And their Challenger line is their top of the line. They're and beautiful. it's kick button awesome. Andrea, let's begin. Model is Challenger 35 MQ. The actual tip tip length of this motorhome is 37 feet 2 inches. This is the Thor Challenger. Again, it's their top of the line model. There's pretty much four levels of Class A gas motorhomes. You have your Ace Resonates, your Windsport Hurricanes, your Luminates, which kind of is like a 2.5. You got your Miramars and then your Challengers. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is tier four, top of the line, beautiful full body paint standard. I love these front LED lights. Look at how big these lights are. They're absolutely huge. I love all the chrome around it. It's fantastic. Nice big front windshield here. You're driving a motor home, you know what I'm saying? And then right here, Andre, we do have chrome mirrors on both sides with cameras integrated in the mirrors. Because this is a Ford, it does ride on the, F the F53 chassis. And the engine is a 7.3 liter V8. It is the Godzilla engine. And then look at these tires, Dre. They're the Michelin's. I love those. Look at that. 255-80R22.5. Did you see my shadow there? I did. <laughs> <laughs> because um, that sun is like hitting this motorhome perfectly. Coming on down, Andre, there is a door awning. Again, beautiful full body paint job frameless windows throughout this motor good home. size awning too up here well not only that it's a full wall slide so to have that awning on the slide out and it's still being really big that is super duper nice right here all aluminum slam latch doors pass through storage yes look at that very nice right here got a tv on the outside insignia a little bit of storage here very nice Man, listen to that shut. Right here is gonna be your potable water. Potable. Potable. Yes, ma'am. And then coming on down right here, Andrea, is a Thor logo, and that's a place for you to leash up your furry friends. Make sure they don't go running away. I'd leash up Yoko there, so she can't get away. Yes. Right here, more storage. And then right here is our propane tank. And then Miss Jen, if you could, bing. Please put all the specifications about this motorhome right there for everybody who's watching on television. Coming around the back, Andrea, we do have a nice fiberglass rear cap. 5,000 pound hitch. This motorhome can tow 5,000 pounds. Unleaded fuel in the rear, so it's easy to access on both sides. Backup camera there and a ladder to get up on the one piece TPO roof. And you know there's two air conditionings on this bad boy. Thank goodness. Right here, look at this. Ooh, very nice. Beautiful instant hot tankless water heater with a beautiful paint job. So I'm glad they beautifully painted the water heater. Nice Onan 5500 Cummins generator. Right uh -oh. here, we do have big storage here. Uh, there's also a place for you to dump your gray tank there, but uh, not liking how there's no 50 amp power cord reel. And there's something else that we'll tell you about shortly. Then coming on down, beautiful wet bay, outdoor shower, water filtration system, black tank flush, very nice. Four Other stars side. here. Nice pass through again. Yes, ma'am. 
other side of the storage. Over here is the yes. other side. You can see your inverter there. And then more storage. And we got oh. some lithium batteries there. Little batteries. Yes. Well, Andrea, the outside of the Challenger looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. And Matt, you do skip and wick some. Of course. And the cargo carrying capacity is 3,437 pounds. Nice. All right, let's do a little 360 here. Now this motorhome does have opposing slides. Mm -hmm. And even with that, I think the walkway is pretty good. Good. So I'm not having any trouble walking through here. It opens up a little bit more. You can definitely open the refrigerator. Um, here is the bathroom and the master bedroom, which looks like it has a tilt-a-bed. Great, and Andrea, while we get these slide outs out, let's take a quick minute to thank the sponsor of today's episode. Guys, I am in my brand new Delta travel trailer and RVmatches.com, a Brooklyn betting company, makes the absolute best mattresses in the RV industry. When I went on their website, all I did was click this style of mattress that I wanted, which I selected the Aurora because it's the best one, it's the thickest one, and it's the most comfortable. I selected that I have a 60 by 80 queen size bed, and then they shipped it to my house. Guys, RVmattress.com, their factory's based in Arizona. They ship it straight to my house. It was super easy to install in my travel trailer and it comes with a 120 night sleep trial guarantee. Guys, if you need a new match for your RV, use promo code MAP for 25% off. But not only that, they have pillows, sheets, and weighted blankets. And what I loved about using this blanket was that it kept me cozy, but also didn't suffocate me. So I was able to get the air conditioning on top of me. Guys, if you need a new match for your RV, Go to rvmatch.com backslash Matt. Let's continue the video. Just like that, Andrea. What's crazy is this motorhome only has two slide outs, but uh, it's still uber duper spacious. So let's get started up front here in the cockpit area. Andrea, it's got the 7.3 Godzilla engine. I feel like I'm driving a spaceship. We have your cup holders here, a place for your cell phone or cell phones there, and your auto leveling right here. Here's my point of view with the steering wheel. You can see this drives fantastic. It's a gas motor home. I can see what's going on there. Right here, I got a really nice camera angle for my Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and my cameras and cup holders there. Andrea, how do you feel in the co-captain seat? It's actually very, very comfortable. Talk to me. It's very comfortable. They both swivel, which is nice. Yes. Pedestal table that goes there. Nice. And you know, the best thing is you have this nice sturdy workstation. A sturdy workstation. Yes, not a wobbly one, not a flimsy <sighs> one, but a sturdy one. Don't get me wrong. I like the wobble as much as anybody else on the dance floor. <laughs> but when it comes to my workstation, I want a sturdy one. Yes. Sturdy, baby, sturdy, baby, sturdy, baby, sturdy. <laughs> and then above here, we have a little bit of storage. Yeah. Not a lot, but. And then there is one on this side, Matt. All right. Let's see if I can get that. Nice. All right. And then we do have a bunker of the cab. I see the key in it. Holds 500 pounds. So let me drop it on down. It has a ladder that goes there. Yeah, and this is one of the best ones. This is the Leopard bunk over the cab. They're so quiet. Yep, everything. And they're fast, you know what I'm saying? Just like that, it drops down. It's a nice thick mattress. Those rails there really help it to be a better sleep. Even though you don't want it to be too good of a night's sleep, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Check out that storage. We got some the, storage These are here. for your non-paying customers, and you don't want them coming with you all the time. Above the door here, there's a little bit. Yes. And then, as you can see, I do like this down there where you see the handle to come in. It has that little bit of separation right there with some panels. Then right over here, Andre, I'm, I love this floor plane. I love opposing sofas. Right over here, I'm sitting with the sofa, and I got my Insignia TV right here. There is a lift-up button that you have to hold down, and then you'll be able to see the window because the TV will go all the way down. No storage above, but you do have a nice sound system there. And Andrea, you know the Challenger is going to give you that crocodile scale. Crocodile Dundee. And then over here on the other side, is your theater seats. 
Now these theater seats do recline, just like that. We got cup holders right here. Storage right there for like your remotes and everything. And then we do have daytime blinds and privacy blinds. And Andrea, we're gonna have to do the valance uh, test in the bedroom because you can't see any of these valances here because they're all covered up by the cabinetry. It's okay. We'll check, hey, don't forget in the bedroom. I know you won't. Nice storage above. Yes. Very nice. I love the color in here and I love the cabinetry. It's like a, a matte look, like a matte finish to that mm -hmm. cabinetry. It looks really good. So not only that, coming over here, Andre, we have another TV. So this is good if you do have a lot of people um, and both seats swivel around so then everybody has a TV. Uh, right here's a dinette. Look at how big yes. this dinette is, you know? Um, the cushions are a little firm, to be honest with you, but something that I do like is this back cushion here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this does drop down to make a bed, and there's cup holders. Oh, Andre, here it is. I, I was wondering why you were stepping all up on me. Check out that valance. Check out that valance right here. Andrea? <laughs> Approved! Ding! Oh, Andrea loves this valance. And then again, the slow rise shades and the privacy shades. Then Andrea, it shows that storage. Uh, above we have uh, four cabinets here above the dinette. Okay. And then there actually is storage under the dinette as well. Yes. Matt, if you can grab that. Not only that, show that real quick. Is that Andrea? a cup holder? Yep. Yes. So we got on that side and on the other side. And there is a car seat tether right there. Nice, nice. Max air fan and everything. And Andrea, do you know what time it is? It's now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Y'all not gonna wanna miss this one. You ready for this? 2024, Andrea. MSRP on stock number 291345 is $259,785, Andrea. MSRP. Sale price, we have it 33% off, even though it's a 2024, to a sale price of $174,995. Andrea, that is a fantastic sale price. And as great of a sale price is, Andrea, I think we can get everybody a little bit of a better price than that. All you guys gotta do is go to generalrv.com slash Matt's Cash. I've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Please reach out to us, Andrea, and a member of our team will help everybody get the absolute best price in America. Andrea, show us this kitchen. Okay, look at this. Really pretty cabinetry. I like the little bit of a frosted look in, in there. And then they've got the adjustable shelf, which is always nice to have. Um, a window in here. I'm gonna open this one. Adjustable shelf, solid surface countertop, and we've got a double sink here with an extension. Wow. Okay. And let's see what's under here. Oh, an extra big trash can. Hey, that's a $176 trash can. Yes, $176, it did go up. So that's a good size trash can. Um, you got, you know, another way to access that from here. You've got three drawers. Yep, soft close. And then one here. And then we have the contour convection microwave. Very nice. Like the backsplash all the way around. We've got a two burner propane cooktop and a one burner induction cooktop. And then underneath there, we have some more storage with an adjustable shelf. And then we've got another drawer. And then, okay, a Whirlpool residential refrigerator. Yes, very nice. Looks like it has an ice maker in it. Yeah, very there. nice. And over here is the pantry. All right. So you got two little drawers down here. Okay, not bad. Locks into place. And then look what's next to you. Ooh, what's this? This unit nice. has a stackable washer and dryer. It's splendid. I love that. Very nice. Nice uh, wall mirror right here. Nice decor. Yes. And then going into the bathroom here, they got a nice door there. 
Okay, decent step. Not bad at all. Not a bad step, Andrea. Very big, very spacious, very wide. I'm loving this. Good head height in here and everything. Okay, over here we've got some storage. Yes. And then here. Okay. And then over here we have a huge medicine cabinet. Very nice. Good size sink. Nice counter here. And then under here we got a little bit more. Yes, and liquefied. Our brand of RV toilet treatment. Guys, go to pridepoopandposition.com. Pick up orange, lavender, or the new tabs. You can also get it at eBay, Walmart.com, and your local General RV. Thank you to everybody who's been buying it and supporting our business. Yes, thank you so much. And please, if you can leave reviews, we appreciate everybody's honesty. Not everybody's honesty. Yes, yes, we do. <laughs> Andrea, you want me to be honest? Yes. This is a prime poop position. Ding! Very nice. Good job, Thor. Yes. And then coming on in here, Andrea, look at this king size bed. No slide out in the bedroom, which is very unique. Um, normally, when you see these opposing slide outs, you also get that slide in the bedroom. And then look at all that storage above. You know, I like it like that. Usually, they only do like one cabinet. I like the two doors there. The two right it just looks different, and it it's you know it looks better. And got that storage goes all the way down. A wardrobe there. Yep. And then a nightstand there with the USB. Get that lower storage. Too, got a little right? bit of storage down here. But yeah, you know what I'm saying. How it's usually like one cabinet. Yeah. And it's like three. This looks better. Yeah. Tilt up bed. Very nice headboard. We do have the bedroom here. A different balance in here. Do you see that, Andrea? I do. I do. Let's get a better look, Andrea. Approved. Bing. Double approval for Andrea. Insignia TV here with storage underneath the TV. Nice end table here. Got lots of drawers. Tons of drawers. I love the soft clothes. Yes. Okay, all the way across down there. Then we got to a big drawer there. And then you've got this wardrobe here if you don't have enough hanging space. Huge, huge. Andrea, I told you. This baby's a good unit for full timing in. Definitely. And then a couple more drawers here, here, and here. And, and no storage under the bed. Yeah, no storage under the bed, but if you walk out the bedroom, you can see that it does have a nice sliding pocket door right there. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time to give people three things that we're loving about this motorhome, three things that we're not liking. Andrea, what do you want to do first? Um... I want to do three things that I dislike about it first. First one's outside. Yes. Andrea, dislike number one. Tier four top of the line gas motorhome. Don't like how there's not a 50 amp power cord reel. With that said, that's not that big of a deal because it's still a gas motorhome. But here's something that I don't like. This cord, you, you, it comes out of here. So every time, unless you leave it hooked up like this, but you have to like, like, it's already so hard to get that power cord plugged in. And then to try to do it like this, big old pain in the butt. That's just like number one. Andrea, what's this like number two? That's just like number one. Andrea, what's this like number two? This like number two for me is going to be this refrigerator. What? Talk to me. Okay, so we are in a higher, the higher end class A gas. Yes. I expect a bigger residential refrigerator with a water purifier and ice maker. Okay. You know, the double door. I, that's just what I expect. 10-4. Yeah. 10-4. I completely understand what you're saying. That's just like number two. And then Andrea, dislike number three, huh? It's pretty tough. I got one. And you might disagree with it. I don't like how that bed's not on a slide out itself to give it even more space. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. don't get me wrong. I do like that cabinetry. As soon as it there. comes down, it's going to take up that space. Yes. That's three things we don't like about it. But I mean, overall, it's very hard to find dislikes. It is. It's a beautiful motorhome. Now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. May I go first? Sure. Opposing slide outs. Love the theater seats. Love the sofa. Love the televator. Love how spacious this motorhome is. I feel like I can breathe in here. It's very nice and I love it. That is like number one. Andrea, what's like number two? Like number two for me is going to be when these slides were in, mm. um, I could walk through. It wasn't bad at all. A lot of times you can barely walk through and you're and you're like kind of doing the Macarena to get through. Okay. But it was actually a decent walkway. Nice. So that's my life. I'm going to combo that with that workstation there. That's very, very nice. That's number two. And then Andrea, number three for me is going to be the amount of storage in here. Yeah. Stackable washer dryer, the pantry, but the aluminum exterior storage with those slam life doors as well. 
fantastic. Just a phenomenal motorhome. And I think when people are looking at upper echelon class A gas motorhomes, a lot of people pass over to Challenger. And as you can see in this video, I mean, I don't know why you would, because this motorhome kicks butt and takes names. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in buying this Thor Challenger or any Thor motorhome, please, all you got to do is go to generalrv.com slash Cash. We will link it down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Please reach out to us and a member of our team will help you guys get the absolute best price in america andrea what say you hey everyone thank you so much for watching let us know the three things that you like about this rv and the three things you dislike yes thor does read the comments they do watch the videos you guys so please leave your feedback we hope you guys are safe and well thanks for watching thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching and andrea we'll, we'll see, see you next time, time.